Thanks, everyone. Uh, my name is Marcelo. I work for Redbit. If you guys had been here last month, uh, my boss Mark talked about uh, offline data handling. Mm -hmm. So I'm here today to talk about geofences for some mobile development. We are mobile dev group, and also uh, work around for a platform limitation. It's I would I want to share with you guys. Uh, wall we, we at Redbit faced and how we climbed that wall. So, talking about me, I'm a bit an engineer and have 20 years of that experience here. I first worked at Delphi 3. Is there any dinosaur here? <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, and I've worked with .NET since 2003. Uh, and for mobile, I worked first with Windows CE back in the day, and also Android Native, and now Xamarin. I'm a Xamarin certified developer, it's not counting anymore yeah, it's since Microsoft is shutting down the university, yeah. yeah. But the good part is everything is gonna be free in Microsoft Learn. Yeah. Free is good, right? Okay, so talking about Geofence. Geofence is a virtual perimeter for a real world geographic area, so as you can see in the, in the picture, I have a pin location here uh, with a latitude and a longitude. It's a geographic location. And I also have a radius that's defined my geofence. Yeah. So it's good when you are uh, developing something, I don't know, maybe to find your, where your kids are. I don't know. It's, it's on. <laughs> Yeah. Something you know, as it had a lot of discussion on that. <laughs> okay, and in mobile development, both iOS and Android, we can monitor uh, a certain amount of geofences. Uh, each geofence can trigger three events when you enter them, when you exit, and you will stay there for a certain amount of time. Uh, the 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 platform will handle this for you, not, it's not your app. Your app will tell them, hey, uh, take care of these geofences for me, please, for iOS or Android. And if somebody entered there or exit or triggered the other event, we will uh, communicate to your app. So I will show you in a more graphical way. So in this example here, in our app in Redbit, we had an application in web that create some, uh, some geofences. So in the picture here, you can see four of them. Each one has an ID, a location, and a radius. Uh, let's assume it's a very different locations. And my app gather all these this geofences from the API, but this is only my example. You can do this on your mobile app itself, so doesn't need don't doesn't need an API. And also I'm using a Xamarin icon here, but <laughs> it it's it doesn't matter. It can be your native app like Swift or Java Kotlin or React Native. It's up, it's up to you. So my app uh, grab this information from the API and I register into my platform. Okay, so this is how the monitoring geofences work. This animation, I enter the geofence and then the system uh, trigger that and notify my app and then my app do the thing I wanna do, show a message or whatever. Okay, so this is how the mobile handle a geofence, monitor the geofence. But the problem is, is there a limitation? In Android, you can register 100 geofences. In <coughs> iOS, just 20. So for each app. For example, let's talk about the iOS. Your app can register maximum 20 geofences. And Google Maps will register another 20. And Foursquare, another 20. And there it goes. Mm -hmm. And for Android, it's a little bit better. You can 100 but maybe depending on what your app is doing it's not enough so this is the wall we faced and how we handled it so why was like why was that a problem for you guys 
Uh, okay, for our <coughs> I will, I will, next slide, it will be easy to understand. Okay. So let's take in an example for iOS, which is the, the smallest amount we can handle. In this picture here, you can see there is about 23 or 24 geofences. But I want to monitor them all. You know, like uh, maybe my, my user is walking uh, close to these ones, but since I only can register 20 geofences, how the iOS will monitor all of them? Mm -hmm. It's not possible at once, right? Mm -hmm. So what we did, we generate uh, a master geofence, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, covering only the, the nearest 19 uh, geofences, mm -hmm. because our limit is 20, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we create a master geofence with an ID and a location and a radius big enough to cover the nearest 19. Uh, and here we have the 19 geofences. Mm -hmm. And the last one, it's our master. Mm -hmm. So I create a different ID, so no geofence can get that, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and here, I want to show you how this is going to work. Since I, I'm monitoring the three events when I enter, when I when I exit, and when I stay there for a long time, but uh, our app only handles the entered event and the exit event. So here I am right in the middle of the master geofence, mm -hmm. and if I get out, I just create a new one and grab the the, the next closest uh, nearest 19 mm -hmm. geofences. So this is how we can work that, right? So uh, you'll be in a certain region of the city and then for that region you have smaller <coughs> geofences in it, right? Yeah. And when you uh, receive the event that your user has left the master geofence, then you create a new one and remove all of the other uh, geofences, smaller, and then Look for the other uh, geofences in the new master geofences. Yes, uh, so the first time you, you use the app, mm -hmm. the, the application grabs your location, your latitude and longitude, and mm -hmm. in our case, we have an API server to do that. Mm -hmm. So we call the API and say, hey, here's my location. Give me the nearest 19 geofences. Mm -hmm. And the server says, here you are. And then my app just give to the platform on OS, say, please handle this to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will, of course, I will monitor all our, my smallest geofences. It's where uh, my app needs to act. Mm -hmm. But I will also monitoring this master geofence. And since I get out of this master, mm -hmm. since I receive this ID and the event is out, my app will know, oh, this guy just get off the master. I need to get, uh, to check with my server again. Mm -hmm. So the app will talk to the server, hey, give me again, this is my new location, give me uh, more geofences, and then I will override my older list. If yes. at the point where you're coming out of your master geofence, you don't have the data connection? Pardon me? So if at that point where you're leaving your master geofence, if you don't have the data connection, you won't be able to... Yes, in my, in my example, since I'm using an API server, uh, if you get out and you don't have a, an internet connection, it will not update. It will like uh, keep monitoring the old ones until you get a connection. Yeah. But that depends on what your app is doing. Maybe you, your app doesn't need an API. You could keep them in the device and just... Yeah, a list of, uh, of geofences in an SQLite or something, right? Yeah. yeah so uh, this is how how the how the, the platform does. It's you don't have to do uh, nothing in your code to detect if your app if, if your user is on or out. The app the system will do this for you. Uh, Marcelo, there's a question here at the stream. They're asking if uh, the the geofences can have any shape or just a circle shape. No, yeah, that depends. It can have any shape. Okay. But, I mean, the way 
way I we used in Reddit, mm -hmm. the the circle shape shape would be better for us. But that depends uh, on the purpose of your application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because uh, so if I remember right, because there's the iOS and Android APIs, I think you you have longitude, latitude, and radius. Yes. So like it would be difficult to create a square geofence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's more complex, but you can do it. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. do it in some stores. Do it. Right when you walk in, like into a specific store in a mall, some of that geofence is specifically for the boundaries of their. Yes, like you 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 have your format of your store. Yeah. It yeah. sometimes is not a perfect square or a perfect circle. Yeah, yeah. You can like draw your. Yeah. Geofence and chat and monitor there. The once again it depends on the purpose of your application, but you can do that. It's just easier to just ballpark it with a radius. So <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys think about using uh, beacons at all, or no? That was not really a solution. Mm, no. Beacons have like two hundred meter. Well, I guess this is like really really big. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's it. Any more questions? Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Uh, without, without using any, like, it's it depends. Uh, in my example again, uh, I'm I have a, I have this API server who will uh, feeding my app with the geofences I need to monitor, and uh, there's also a web system. I will feed I will create this this geofences. So that depends if you go out. This is a map from Toronto. But uh, if you go out to another country, depends if you have uh, your application, it's, it's monitoring that there. Did I answer your question? Uh, a little bit. I think you, you were asking if the, the oh, native API, yeah. without going to a geocoding service, if you could ask the native API, hey, tell me, just create a geofence for Toronto, like it'll actually create it. Yeah, so. because I could I could probably create a, a complex service mm -hmm. that returns me like the exact coordinates of yeah. Canada, and then let me know if I if I go to the US according to my laptops. Right. But I was asking if there's something that that does the same thing out of the box of the iOS or Android near the US. No, that I don't know so to answer. I don't I don't think I don't think it does. Yeah, I, don't, I think you have to handle it yourself. Okay, any, any other questions? No? Um, I, I just, I'm not 100% sure, like, if you can talk about it, but, like, what specific use case was it? Like, what, what are you trying to do? Uh, it's, like it's, for, it's for a marketing purpose. For example, uh, my client has a, the web application, and they create, uh, they come here to hacker you, for example, mm -hmm. and say, hey, uh, are you going to be part of my, my app? So I will create a geofence and cover your place. So whatever any user uh, enter this geofence, the app will pop up a message say, "Hey, come to Hacker U today and get a fifty percent out." Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. cool. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.